Friday afternoon. And since that time, now the measure has been virtually ignored by the mainstream media. Now, the order essentially gives the president of the United States absolute power over any and all American resources during both times of peace and national crisis. Now, this includes, but is not limited to, food and livestock, water, plants, energy, health resources, transportation, and construction materials, and gives the government the ability to, quote, control the general distribution of any material, including applicable services in the civilian market. Now, White House Press Secretary Jay Carney laughed off a question about the document at today's briefing. Let's take a look. But some online commentary suggested this gives the executive branch power to allocate energy, food, water in either peacetime or wartime. And there are some conservative blogs that are pushing the notion that this suggests the White House is preparing for a war with Iran. Can you explain what this executive order was? <laughs> well, I cannot explain that reaction to it. I think it was a fairly uh, standard and routine uh, piece of business. Now, not everybody's laughing about this executive order. In fact, some have suggested this would give the president of the United States the authority to declare basically martial law during times of peace. And to be sure, this is simply the latest string of actions taken by the administration that ignore the basic principles of our Constitution. Joining me now.